Today, we're going to be taking a look at a new Battle Royale game coming over to the mobile platform. This game is called Indus Battle Royale. Now, I may have pronounced that wrong, so let me know in the comment section down below. But this is an actual game developed by a studio within India. Now, I got sent an email by Team Indus themselves asking if I would be interested in working alongside them on this brand new adventure of Indus Battle Royale. Now, they asked me to react to their gameplay trailer, which we will certainly be doing today but before we do let's talk about a little bit about the game now indus battle royale gives me some strong brink vibes back from the xbox 360 it also has some very similar concepts to apex legends mobile now not just apex legends mobile but apex legends in itself now you will understand why i'm saying this between these two games after you see the trailer and finally it definitely gives me some halo vibes as well without the huge jumping of course merged with a little bit Bit of PUBG Mobile as well. When I first saw this trailer, I was blown away with how well this game is going to be suited for mobile gaming, especially alongside PUBG, which keeps getting banned in India. So having a game built in India is going to be absolutely great for the ecosystem. Now, I was going to react to this trailer yesterday, and it only had around about 10,000 views, but in one day, it's closing in to 700,000 video views. That's how popular this game is. And it's absolutely huge. Many YouTubers have reacted to this trailer. But without further ado, let's give our full first take at this trailer. So it's made by Super Gaming. I'm, ass I'm assuming that's the studio behind it. But already, let's get straight into it. So you can already tell from the music choice that it's definitely like an India studio working on this. Not an indie studio, but a studio from India. Now, they are just going to show the characters at this in this trailer with a little bit of uh, gameplay footage. That's what I was told. But uh, there's some unique... Le I'm going to call them legends, okay? But characters, whatever you want to call them. But they've got some good designs, and this is exactly why I said it reminds me of Brink slightly. Except for this dude. This is like some tin, uh, tin man. Um, but the guns definitely remind me of Apex Legends Mobile. Especially the Wingman and the R301, which you saw reloading just a minute ago. Then you got the Octane Stim there. But we're not going to be comparing them, of course. We're going to be taking a look at the unique aspects. Now, the game looks... It is very bland. Now, that's the art style that they've gone with. Look at that Wingman right there. <laughs> but uh, overall, they probably made the graphics this way for optimization for the very low-end devices. Remember, Indus is made in India. So... Of course, it's definitely for people with low-end devices. Now, pre-registrations are now live. Let's just repeat that trailer while we talk about a couple more things. But uh, a lot of people in India, of, of course, not the whole of India is high, like kind of low poverty in some areas. So many people have very low-end devices. Now, if this studio is trying to build a game for India, um, it's not just for India. It's going to be worldwide, by the way. Now, they are going to be really focusing on those low-end devices. And uh, overall, I, I really feel like this game has got a lot to offer. It's going to give you that PUBG mobile vibe for people that are going to be coming from PUBG. Because remember, that game is very old and pe people in India are looking for the next Battle Royale to play. Now, Apex Legends wasn't that game for them. I don't blame them. It didn't run on low-end devices and it is quite a hard game to uh, adapt to. But this game, very basic concept. It's a Battle Royale. It's uh, similar to what you're used to on PUBG by the looks of it. And third person, you, you get what PUBG mobile players are like. They love that third person. And uh, overall, I think this is a great game to be bringing to the marketplace. Just looking at this trailer again, they've gone into so much in-game detail when it comes to characters, guns, and probably the gameplay itself. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Now, overall, my full opinion on this game is... Will it be able to strive in the mobile industry? Now, the mobile industry has taken a huge, huge, huge drop in the market currently because a lot of people just are not entertained and not watching content around mobile games. Now, it doesn't necessarily mean that they're not playing the games, but uh, I have also seen personally a big dip in player base in multiple games. But let me know your thoughts as well in the comment section down below if you've been experiencing the same thing. And do you think Indus has a chance to be a big runner up in the marketplace? Now, my honest opinion on this is yes, as long as they follow the structure of what the community actually wants. Not 100% of what the community wants, of course, because that would be 
community freedom. Now, developers have the final say, so it's up to them. But I mean, support creators, support the community, bring aspects of, you know, consumables such as skins, weapon skins, but don't rip us off for them. You know, if you if you want a strong purchase base, then uh, slow it down a little bit. But anyways, that is it for today's video. I know it's a short and snappy video. I wanted your opinion on this game. Now, if you are excited for this game, then let me know. But not only that, you can pre-register right now by clicking the link in the description down below and it will take you to this page right here. And of course, there are more images on that website, which I've showed you at the start of the video of like the different weapons and stuff. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Drop a like, subscribe, and I'll see you again real soon. Peace out.